Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag? To say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! He's fired! He's fired! You know, some owner's going to do that. He's going to say, that guy that disrespects our flag, he's fired. And that owner, they don't know it. They don't know it. They're friends of mine, many of them. They don't know it. They'll be the most popular person for a week. They'll be the most popular person in this country, because that's a total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for, OK? Everything that we stand for. And I know we have freedoms, and we have freedom of choice, and many, many different freedoms. But you know what? It's still totally disrespectful. And you know, when the NFL ratings are down massively, massively, the NFL ratings are down massively. Now, the number one reason happens to be that they like watching what's happening on, you know, with yours truly. They like what's happening. This, because, you know, today, if you hit too hard, right? They hit too hard. 15 yards, throw him out of the game. They had that last week. I watched for a couple of minutes. And two guys just really beautiful tackle. Boom, 15 yards. The referee gets on television. His wife is sitting at home. She's so proud of him. They're ruining the game, right? They're ruining the game. Dozens of NFL players kneel on the field during the national anthem today. This is all in response to strong words from President Donald Trump condemning the action. Other players linked arms. Some didn't even take the field. Only one Steelers player, who's a veteran, showed for the national anthem. A couple of Kansas City Chiefs players kneeled too, even sat during today's anthem. Here at Arrowhead Stadium, it's tradition to yell Chiefs at the end of the national anthem. Sunday, players, coaches, and owners from around the NFL stood against the president's comments. 